by 12 sheets of drywall, 4 by 10 times 2. Okay? If you look right here, there's rafters here, but because of the way we installed the sheetrock, you don't have a bunch of screws or nails in here. And again, back in my younger days, we would have to screw the sheetrock to every rafter. And we always went home like this at night because that's all our head was doing all day long. Well, we have a, a, a glue system now in place, and I'll show you it in a moment because the roof department actually would appear to be backwards the way we've laid it out. We don't have to put any glue on the living side, which gives the ceiling finish of the home a much cleaner look because the only thing you have is mud and tape at the four foot joints. So after the mud and tape is installed, we come back with a vapor barrier. That's what that noise is. It's turning the, the vapor barrier, and we, we shoot the ceiling with the vapor barrier because the ceiling, the outer walls, and the underneath all have to have a vapor barrier finish on them. Correct. So on the bottom, it's that black paper that I showed you way back when. On the exterior walls where the insulation is, it's that craft back paper on the insulation. And on the roof, it's actually a coat of vapor barrier, vapor barrier uh, paint on the ceiling itself.